Let's turn to Psalm 5 tonight. Psalm 5. Listen to the, what the psalmist said. Give ear to my words. O oh Lord, consider my meditation. Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray. My voice shalt thou hear in the morning, O oh Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee. And will look up. Verse number 7. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy. And in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. I want to speak to us a few moments on a simple thought the Lord passed on to me. He hears your cry. He hears your cry. When I see the children and the, and the brochures and, and the news broadcasts and the different things and I see the children I see the picture of one that was so bony and then just squatting down and leaning over almost to fall and there was a huge vulture back in the background waiting for that child to fall over and die that child hadn't died yet but it so skinny the legs and the arm so small, barely living, and a photographer caught that picture. I, I don't know if the photographer done, done anything else other than take a picture. But if I would have been there, I think I would have just cried my eyes out and wept because of that little child in the situation it was in. Another picture we saw of they had a little baby and, and was holding the child's hand. And it probably was a two or three or four year old child. And yet the hand was probably no bigger than my thumb because it had shriveled up and the bone in its arm was probably about like that, Robert. No, not that big. And it was just holding the hand of someone. And, it, and, and its little old hand was probably as wide as my thumb is about all. And, and it just looked so horrible. It, it just tore me up to think and to know that in our world today, and we might say, well, why don't God hear their cry? God does. God hears the cry of the poor. God hears the cries of the children that are hungry. And I guess it's the strikes upon humanity that we don't reach out and help them. I guess it's the blame upon humanity that they could do more. Instead of spending millions and millions and millions of dollars in Hollywood on everything but God, wasting money on everything. If everybody in America would not take their vacation this year and put all that money together, we would, we would probably have several billions of dollars Robert and we could, what could we do with that? God hears our cry. Even though sometimes it don't seem like it. There's the, the modern day philosophy of, of our day is, you know, to provide for your own self. Take care of your own, you know. Don't worry about others, ain't that right? Huh? People all around, don't worry about others. You, just turn a deaf ear to everything else. Don't worry about everything around you. Amen. And another thing, they brought it on themselves. It ain't our fault. They serve idol gods over yonder. And, and you know, and, well, I don't know if a little two-year-old serving anybody to y'all. Huh? Except they're hungry and they want something to eat. Oh, they got themselves into this mess. Let them get it themselves out. Somebody else would say, I don't have time to get involved. Amen. And yet their cries are going up tonight. The cries of the starving children. The cries of our Christian brethren. 
in the prison cells and the, the jail cells and in chains and fetters, beaten, broken, bruised and battered, starving tonight. Christians that said, I will not deny my Savior that bought me. And therefore they're locked up, they're being beaten. Amen. They're being stoned, they're being uh, tortured in many ways tonight because they would not deny Jesus. They kept the faith and they're keeping it all the way unto the death. Amen. Tonight, amen, God hears their cry tonight. God hears their cry tonight. He hears you, you'll cry tonight. If you're serving Him and you, you're praying and you don't have a, got the answer, keep on praying. God hears our cry tonight. I'm glad God is not just a philosophy. It's not just a thought. I'm glad God is real. I'm glad God so loved the world He gave His Son. I'm glad God loved mankind enough to let Noah build a boat. I'm glad God loved us enough to let somebody build a cross. I'm glad the Lord loved us enough to let Jesus want to die on the cross for us. Amen. I'm glad God loved us enough that a rich man gave the tomb to Jesus. Amen. I'm glad the Lord loved us enough that on the third day he didn't leave his son's soul in hell. Amen. Like the, the, I believe it was one of the psalmists said, Thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Amen. The smell of death didn't pass on Jesus. Amen. He was dead for three days, but they say the fourth day is when the corruption starts. Most of the time, that's why funerals, uh, you know, are three days. Amen. But I want you to know something. Jesus came forth victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And He's sitting at the right hand of the Father. His ears are open to our cry tonight. He said it'll come to pass that before we call that he'll hear. And while we're yet speaking, he'll bring it to pass. The Lord hears the cries of his people. I want to be one of his own, don't you? I want to be one of those that cry unto him day and night. Amen. I want to be one of those that come to him every day, every night with something. Lord, save my brother. Save the lost. Lord, bless my brothers in bondage. Lord, touch this one. Heal that one. I want to be crying unto Jesus day and night, don't you? Hallelujah. When nobody else can hear, Jesus hears. Hallelujah. Don't matter where we are, Penny, in the lowest valley we've ever been in. And I have been in a couple of low ones. I have been in some couple of low valleys. But Jesus was right there. He heard my cry. It don't matter if you're lost on a mountaintop. He hears you cry. It don't matter if you're down in the driest desert, amen. He hears you cry. It don't matter if you're out in the wilderness lost. Uh, he hears you cry. It don't matter if you're down in a horrible pit tonight. He hears your cry. It don't matter if you're walking through the valley of the shadow of death. He hears our cry tonight, amen. He knows where we're at. It don't matter if you're in a fiery furnace, in a lion's den, in a dark dungeon just like Joseph. He hears the cries of his people tonight. Let's cry unto him day and night. Amen. I plan to cry this week. I plan to call on the Lord this week. I plan to spend time in prayer this week. Pray it, amen. Asking God to help my people and help this church and help our people in this town and this world, amen. I plan to cry to God. That don't mean... Every moment we feel His presence. Every moment we feel His presence. Amen. I've been praying hard since Wednesday night. And this is one of the deadest services we've had in a while. We tried. We tried to worship God. How many of you felt the presence of God? Put that in the bank. Amen. Because they, many people can feel that. 